Okay, so now that we've looked at those basic modeling tools and we have a rough model drawn in Revit, we're now going to look at a few of the view tools. Um, it sort of explains a bit how Revit works and how you can go about sort of setting up views to, to present your work nicely. Um, so first we're going to look at levels and then floor plans in this video. So to add more levels, uh, the easiest way to do it is to go in your project browser down to either your elevations or your sections. So let's go have a look at the north elevation. And you can see already that we have three um, floor plans set up. We added this level two one so that we could put the roof in. But ground floor and level one were default there. Now in the home tab, you can see we can click on level or we can use the shortcut LL again. Now to add more levels to our project, so say we wanted to add maybe like a ceiling level and we drop that down, you just click and move it. And so there's a ceiling level and then maybe, um, you know, a basement level or something like that or for, for a carport. So, um, and you can see at the time it's giving me a name and it's also giving me a number um, that's related to my RL. So this is two meters below and it's called level four, but level four, but you can just double click on the name of that and change that to say basement. And when I hit enter, it'll ask if I want to rename the corresponding views and always say yes to that. That just means that over in your project browser, it's going to change the name of that floor plan to basement as well. Um, and this one here we'll call ceiling. Um, yes. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Adding more views, and if we wanted to add um, any more above that, it's very very simple process. Just drawing um, the level in and clicking it to finish. One other thing I'll show you with levels is that if you decide, so you can see at the moment that all these levels have a blue level head. Um, now that means that there is actually a floor plan attached to those levels so that over in my project browser here, you'll see that every level that's drawn on this page has a floor plan written um, in the project browser. Now, if I decide to copy this level up, so if I just go CO for copy, you can see at the moment it's got a black level head. Now that means that it it doesn't actually have a floor plan attached to it and I can't actually go and click on that floor plan um, to attach, uh, to start drawing from that level. Now to do that I have to go up into my view tab and then here where it says plan views, floor plan, up here it'll show me all the floor plans that um, don't actually all the levels that don't have a floor plan attached to them. So I mean this is a process that maybe if you were doing a high rise or or something where you were copying a lot of levels up vertically, you then go in here to this floor plan um, creation tool, just click OK, and now you can see it's created in the project browser that level seven floor plan for me. So if I close that and go back to my elevation, you can see my level head is now changed to blue.